In section seven, we're gonna talk about what percent change means. So by the end of this lesson, you should be able to find the percent of change and then solve problems involving percent of change. So a percent change is a ratio of the change in an amount to the original amount expressed as a percent. So that means we are going to create a ratio. And remember, our favorite way to um, have a ratio is by a fraction. So up at the top of our ratio is going to be the amount of change. And it's going to be divided by the original amount. And when we get a number out, we're going to get a number out like 1.2, which we're going to express as 120%. Or we'll get a number like 0.8, and we'll express that as 80%. So that's what it's talking about when it says expressed as a percent. If the new number is greater than the original, we'll have a percent increase. So like this would be a percent increase. And we have that when stores mark up their costs of things. And a percent decrease would be a sale or a discount, like maybe it's 80% of the original. So the first thing we have to do is determine whether each percent of change is a percent increase or a percent decrease, and then find the percent of change. So if the original, let's say price is 20, and the final is $23, this increased. So this is a percent increase. And in order to find the percent change, we have to find the difference between these two. So final minus original, and then we're going to divide that by the original. So it changed $3, and since our original was 20, we're going to do 3 divided by 20. And when you throw that in your calculator, you get 0.15. But remember, we are going to call this a percent. So it's a 15% increase. So the next one, when we look at it, original was 25 and the final is 17. So since this went down, this is a percent decrease. And when we do the same thing, we, wa we always wanna do final minus original divided by original. So when we actually subtract these, we'll get negative 8 25ths. So when you plug that into your calculator, you'll get a negative number out. And you can express your answer as negative 0.32, so negative 32%. Or you could say it's a 32% decrease. So think about this in terms of money. If your shirt was originally 25 bucks and it's on sale for 17, that means it's 32% off. All right, let's try this with a story. A recent percent of increase in tuition at Northwestern was 5.4%. The new cost is $33,408 per year. We need to find the original cost. So this is our, like if we look back here, this is our final. Oops. And we don't know our original, so we'll make it X. So if we look back at these equations, what we did every single time is we took finest, final minus original divided by the original. So let's write this up here. Final minus original divided by original. This equals our percent. Remember that percent is a number over 100. So that's how we're gonna set up this problem. We don't know the original, but we know the final. So 33,408 minus the original divided by the original equals our percent. So 5.4 over 100. So now that we have our proportion, we can find our cross products. So we get 5.4x on this side and we have 100 times all this stuff. So then we have to distribute that 100. So we'll leave this side as 5.4x. Remember, multiplying by 100 is just going to add two zeros on the end of this. And then we'll get minus 100x. 
So then I want to add 100 X to both sides. Let's move this over here. So it'll be 105.4 X equals this giant number here. And remember, our answer should still be a pretty big number because it's tuition to go to Northwestern. So when we divide, we have to throw this number into our calculator. So 3340800 divided by 105.4. I get 31,696.39. So before we move on, let's make sure our answer makes sense. Remember, there was a percent increase. It went up. So it makes sense that our original cost is less than our final cost. So always double check that before you move on to another problem. So let's say that Marta is purchasing wire and beads to make some jewelry. Her merchandise is $28.62 before tax, and tax is 7.25% of the total sale. We need to find the cost. So remember, in order to figure out something with a percent, we can write it as this number over 100 percent, or we can just move the decimal over twice. So these two are all the same, meaning 7.25 percent. So 7.25 percent of the total means that we're just going to multiply these numbers together. Remember, of means multiplication. And when we multiply these together, we get 2.07495. But remember, this is money. So we can only have two numbers after the decimal. And because these numbers are less than 500, we're going to round it at $2.07 is our tax. Now, it asks the total cost of this. So that means I need to take the price that I paid and add the tax onto it. So we have 28.62 plus the $2.07. So we ended up paying 30 dollars and 69 cents for the wire and beads. Remember on a tester quiz, your answer needs to make sense. So if you were to give me all of these numbers after the decimal, I would take some points off. Since Tyrell has earned good grades in school, he qualifies for the good student discount on his car insurance. His monthly payment without the discount is $85. If the discount's 20%, what's he gonna pay each month? So just like the last one, we can write 20% as a fraction or we can turn it into a decimal. And because we want to find 20% of $85, just like the last one, we're going to multiply 85 and 20%, or 0.2. And when you multiply those together, you end up with 17. Now, unlike the last one, this is a discount, which means he's not going to pay $85 plus 17, he's going to pay $17 less every month because it's a discount. So if we subtract these two numbers, we end up with $68. So one of the hardest parts of this section is realizing when you add and when you subtract. So stop and think about your problem. Tax is added onto things where a discount is taken off. So always make sure your answer makes sense and that it answers what the question's asking. So you have three problems to do. Find the percent change of these. Remember to say if it's an increase or decrease. And then here's another one where it talks about a picture frame's price and it's on sale for 40% off and you need to find out what you're gonna pay for it. Make sure you write down any questions you have and we can go over them tomorrow in class. Enjoy your night.